Welcome to today's video. Today we'll understand two essential concepts in the world of finance, free float and weighted average market capitalization. First, let's discuss the concept of free float. In simple terms, free float is a method used to calculate the market capitalization of a stock market's underlying companies. But what exactly is market capitalization? Well, it's the total value of a company's outstanding shares, and it's a key indicator of its size in the financial market. Now, when it comes to calculating this market capitalization using the free float method, we don't consider all the shares available in the market. Instead, we multiply the equity prices by the number of readily available shares in the market. These are the shares that are actively traded by investors. It's important to note that with free float market capitalization, we exclude locked-in shares. These locked-in shares are typically held by insiders, promoters, and sometimes even the government. So only the actively tradable shares are taken into account. Moving on to our next concept, weighted average market capitalization. This concept is particularly important when constructing stock market indices like the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ. These indices are used to track the performance of a group of stocks and are vital for investors and financial professionals. The weighted average market capitalization method takes into account the market capitalization of the constituent stocks in an index. In other words, it gives more importance to the larger companies in the index. This means that big companies with higher market capitalization will have a more significant influence on the index's performance than smaller stocks. It makes sense, right? A company worth billions should have a more significant impact on the index's movements than a smaller one. This method ensures that the index accurately reflects the performance of the market's most substantial players. It's like giving the big players a larger role in the game, mirroring their significance in the real-world market. So, there you have it. The concepts of free float in market capitalization and weighted average market capitalization in stock indices. Both of these concepts are fundamental for understanding the dynamics of the stock market and are invaluable tools for investors and financial analysts. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.